Hello everybody, Nathan Salpet, freelance artist here, and today I'm going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at one of my recent projects that I did for Category 5 Technology TV. Uh, they were coming upon their 10th uh, season of the show, and they wanted to do a, well actually they did, they did the show in 360 video. So they wanted an intro that was 360 video as well. So this is my very first 360 project had never done any 360 video before um, so yeah I, th I learned a lot uh, and the files here are going to be available for download on my website which will be linked in the description of this video I'll also link to the episode from Category 5 TV where you can actually watch the whole show in 360 and see the intro and I also do the credits which I have a video on as well which will be linked in the description as well um, so basically, this is this is all there is to it. It's really not a difficult file. You literally have a hallway, a room that has nothing in it, no light sources, it's just black, and then uh, picture frames running along the wall, except in this case they're actually TV frames, because if I go back to material view, um, yeah, you can't see it now, but we'll see it in, in a little bit. Those are all actually video clips from all the previous seasons. So there are nine uh, TVs uh, along the hallway. And then we have a picture frame here and a picture frame on the other side of the wall here. of uh, Just some pictures of the cast of the show. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty basic scene. So let's kind of break it down. Uh, go ahead into the UV editing. Yeah, we don't really want to see that picture. Sorry, guys. Nope, nope. We want to see... Not that file either. Oh wait, yeah, it is that file. Okay. So, that's right, because I did this as three files. So what we did, we're looking at the ceiling here. So this is all of the ceiling bits you see here are these images here. There should be a, a floor. This is all the pieces of the floor that kind of have like that textured tile look to them. And someplace there's walls. Offhand, I don't remember what I called the wall, though. Uh, it was probably wall. Here we go. So these are all baked textures, which makes rendering this file really, really quick, actually. So it's in cycles. And oh, actually, I shouldn't even want that. I just want there. That's what I want. This is the node tree for this file looks kind of complicated this chunk here is actually just for the texture for the floor so the floor is a Veroni texture with this color ramp with a UV map and then that was just baked uh, at a very high resolution 5120 pixels by 5120 pixels wide and then it is just actually as an emission on the floor at one pixel so let's go ahead and take just a random frame here doesn't really matter and render this out and I think I may have there we go uh, now it's gonna take a second to load because it's loading nine videos and it has to load them at the right frames and then it is loading some pretty giant textures for the floor the wall and the ceiling so it's going through here it's doing 50 samples each which honestly I could get away with a little lower but there's two pieces in here that are not baked textures this wooden trim, that is not a baked texture. That is actually rendered real time. Or I shouldn't say real time, but it's rendered at render time. And then the frame of this and the little season plaques are rendered at time of render. So that took uh, 33 seconds. Not bad at all. If I were to just change that one. Oh, actually, you know what? That won't work. Never mind, because there's no lighting in that scene. Um, I was gonna say it takes way longer if you do it individually. This is the lights. These lights are not actually rendered in the final render at all. They were just there for baking. Uh, these bakes, I did three separate bakes. No, I take that back. It was all baked at once? I'm trying to remember. Um, I have about 20 hours of work in this file. 
And there was a lot of baking involved. A lot of baking. Uh, in case you're not sure what baking is, baking is basically a process where the computer calculates out all, calculates out all of the light and everything, and pretty much, you know, we have this floor texture here. The computer calculates out all the light and then saves it all to an image. So this image is what we're seeing on the floor right there. But this is actually a calculation the computer made of this texture with the lighting of these lights up here. So you cut down tons of render time if you bake things, but only if they're static. If anything was moving in the scene and the lighting had to be dynamic, I wouldn't be able to bake it, which fortunately is not the case because baking these textures was pretty much like a 20 hour process. And I did that, oh man, so many times, so many times. Uh, it was my first time ever baking in cycles in my defense. I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, it wasn't too difficult, but I just kept making little mistakes that I didn't realize. So finally, I was like, you know, I'm just going to bake these at super low resolutions, low samples, till I know what's working right, till I get all the textures laid out right, the right mapping, and then I'll just boost everything up super high. So there's probably like 100 hours worth of baking going into this scene. If you download the source files, which won't include these videos or the logos on the walls, but is this hallway, you won't have to do any of that baking because that's all included for you. So you're welcome. Of course, you are stuck with a hard limit, or uh, I don't even know if they have limit, but you are stuck with nine images because the shadow from those frames is all baked onto that wall texture. So you kind of have to stick with the amount of frames that I have and you kind of have to stick with the same size outside frames. You could make the inside smaller if you wanted. That wouldn't matter at all, but the outside you're pretty much stuck with. Um, in 360 video, I mentioned this in the credit video, but no guarantee that you're gonna watch the credits video. Um, you, the camera sees everything. So you have no behind the camera where you can hide things. So you'll notice that in this scene, let me just switch to top view real quick. This is where the camera starts. And I have hallway going all the way over here. The camera never travels in. But without it going that far, when the camera's at this point, you could actually see the outside world in the corner here. So this just had to be stretched out so that was not possible. Also, the corner here. That was necessary as well. So when you're at uh, about this point here, that you couldn't see that there's just a black nothing out there. And then this room that literally is just all black had to exist pretty much just to give the camera some place to go to fade to black is really the only reason. Kind of the idea was, and it's, it was agreed upon between Robbie and myself, um, this is like the hallway to their studio where the episode's filmed. So you're basically, you're walking down the hall. You see all the previous seasons on the cameras or on the TVs. You got like two picture frames here with the people in the studio, some logos, some graphics and stuff. You open the door, you walk in, door closes behind you, goes to black, and then it fades from black to the start of the episode. That was kind of how we figured the whole fade kind of thing. We could have just done a crossfade, I guess. But at the time, I didn't realize that a crossfade was possible, I guess. I don't know. Again, it was my first time ever doing a project like this, so I really didn't know what I was doing. Fortunately, I'm still getting paid. Um, but yeah, so the, the file you downloaded, assuming you downloaded, it does have all your textures included. Um, I want to point out a few things here. Uh, I like to have this set to material or even to textured mode. Um, but you can't see anything inside this hallway when the hall itself is showing that way. So you can change its uh, maximum draw type to wire. And then you can see everything on the inside here. So all the frames, the logos on the walls, the pictures. These are not baked shadows on the wall. So you can remove the name plaques. No worries. Those are not something you have to keep. 
but you can change them anything you want the logos on the wall are also not baked with shadows so those can all be removed this picture can this one can't i goofed in retrospect i should have baked it with none of this stuff on the walls because then you could have used any amount you wanted but i wasn't thinking ahead enough to the distribution portion of this where i'm making these files available so yeah that was kind of a boo-boo on my part if you want you can of course bake it yourself and it's going to take about 20 hours give or take five or six hours depending on your um your gpu if you're just doing this on cpu i'm sorry you're looking at several days worth i'm afraid it's a, it's a really intensive process um i don't know what else robbie necessarily wanted me to talk about on this um that's kind of really all there is to it cameron just travels through a virtual space doing 360 video along the way all individual video frames here and blender really takes care of everything for you it moves all the frames i guess i could explain that um so these are it's an image it's all it is just an image well it's a video but it's considered an image texture and yeah you just tell it how many frames the video is tell it what frame to start playing on and it plays blender does everything for you it's really super super easy to do this stuff um there's a trim going around the door that's actually a baked texture because it turned out super grainy when it wasn't baked so uh, i had to do that um and you can actually kind of see if we bake like this frame out in the why is it not okay there we go in the final um what's the word i'm looking for here in the final version that i rendered um i was rendering most things at 50 samples but when i got to like the last turn before we hit the store and you start seeing inside this room i upped the samples i think to 200 which made the render time quite a bit longer but it got rid of a lot of the noise on the floor and on the walls in here and just made it look a little bit better and admittedly, it was going to be playing at a fast enough speed where you don't really have too much time to dwell and focus on the poor quality of it. The idea was kind of that, well, you're going to be looking around in this 360 space and you're not going to notice all of the mistakes I made. Because like there's this weird black line between the two floors. And I don't know why it exists, because it shouldn't. But it's there, and I couldn't get rid of it, no matter what I did. I don't know if something overlaps or something I don't I don't know what I did wrong but I couldn't make it go away so it just exists the door also kind of has this unearthly glow to it which it really shouldn't it should be darker it's got mistakes okay it was my first project cut me some slack no but seriously if you do photography or something you could line this all with some your photography um, you can change the speed that the camera runs at pretty easily um, it kind of just goes along here and it actually follows a curve there's a curve on the floor here that the camera follows but you can change the speed of the camera just by going to the animation tab here and you can actually offset follow path that's the camera movement itself and you can kind of see how it moves along there you can turn off everything else so you're only selecting whoops so you're only selecting the offset yeah turn off the locations as well you don't want to animate that and then you can just scale it and now that actually won't work <laughs> you need to scale on the x so scale x s to scale x and then two and then obviously you would have to grab this and to move it over so its start point is wherever and now it plays at half the speed because we doubled the length of it you can play around with it you can actually whoa, 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 whoa. i almost just crashed everything you can actually if you want you can delete the animation on the camera altogether you could throw your own new camera in it really wouldn't matter and do entirely new animation for the camera 
you'll still only be looking at about 30 seconds to a frame, which isn't horrible. All things considered, that's not horrible at all. The scene is made in three layers. You have one layer, which is the frames, the trim, and the walls itself. Layer two is not used in the final render. This is only used for baking. This is all of your lights. You don't need these in the final render because the walls are actually all emitting light to themselves. And then layer three has all of the, what I considered the extras. It has the pictures on the wall, it has the logo, the logo on the floor, all of the plaques for the seasons, all of the videos for the seasons. That's all in layer three. It was just an easy way for me to keep things organized. It made it really easy when baking. I was just like, okay, I'm baking a texture. I need layer one and layer two visible. I have the lights and I have the material that's being baked on. I'm doing the final render. I need layer one, I need layer three. Just made it really, really easy for me to manage everything on here. Um, we're looking at about 20 minutes. I think that's everything. Obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them on my website or in the comments on this video, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And of course, if you're looking to hire a freelance artist, please visit my website and visit the freelance page. Let me know about your job and I'll get back to you with some pricing and timelines and yeah, all that good stuff. So I will see you guys next time.